Continuing on with the last video, we created a relationship. Now what we need to do is we need to customize the data grid view that we show in our form keycard. So we can either create a new query or we can just edit the current query. And I personally would rather just edit the current query because I don't want to show all. And by default, fill.getData is going to show all. So if we go ahead and we can either right click or double click, but I want to right click usually that's the best or the safest way and say configure so we're going to configure the current query what this is going to do so we have the card number the resident ID the issue date default active amount and what other fields you want to display so we could actually just show the resident ID and the issue date but it's up to you next you're going to want to create a new line or I like to do stuff on multiple lines and then the query that we're going to be using it's going to literally look like this. So we have card number, resident ID, issue, is default, is active amount, and then from key card, or if you want to put it dbo.keycard, where resident ID equals at resident ID. And this is a parameter. And I'll show you in the continuing videos what the parameter will actually look like. So let's go ahead and let's copy this and see what it looks like. So if we click on Query Builder and we run this, we won't actually get any data out because we're going to do where and it's looking for resident ID. So if I say Execute Query, it goes, well, what are you looking for? What if I'm looking for the ID of 1? Then what it's going to give me is the resident ID of 1, what the card number is they're holding, and is it a default, is it active, and basically zeros and ones. Uh, if it's a default, it's um, zero. If it's active and it's usually a zero, um, I have that set up so that in case it wants to populate and I want to do a count of not active, I can sum up the ones. I, it's a bit reverse, but I'd rather sum actual numbers than zero numbers. So we can say, okay, notice that this is working. It's actually wrapped it in parentheses. We can say next. And then after next, we want to get rid of create methods and return data table. We want to keep it as fill or actually, preferably, I'd like to rename it. So I'm going to rename it to fill key card data. And then click next. All of it's good. And then click finish. Continue on with the next video for the next step.